What's up guys, it's Seltzer. The Frag Dolls just got back from San Diego Comic Con and while we're still recovering, we have a lot of news to bring you from the show floor and from this past week. Ready? Let's go. As if comic fans didn't have enough fat loot dropped at San Diego Comic Con, this past week we were also treated to test footage of a potential Deadpool movie. We thought at first it might have been stolen, but the next day the studio came back and uploaded some high-res test footage. So check it out, let us know what you think, cause uh, the fans seem pretty eager. It was a great week for Assassin's Creed fans. Not only do we have the Assassin's Creed experience at San Diego Comic Con that lets you get a free shave, run an obstacle course, pre-order the game, and do the Leap of Faith, but we have two new videos for the Assassin's Creed Unity franchise. In a new Devon Supertramp video, four parkour masters take on Paris, France in their version of an Assassin's Creed Unity chase scene. Also, horror movie director Rob Zombie and Tony Moore, the artist for the Walking Dead comics, teamed up to animate their version of the events leading up to Assassin's Creed Unity. It's a brutal video, but totally worth the watch. Ubisoft's action strategy Air Mech launched this week. It's free to play on Xbox 360. If you've ever wondered what it'd be like if Gundam and Starcraft had a baby, well, you're in luck. Hearthstone players have gained access to the game's first solo adventure, Nax Ramis. Based on the World of Warcraft raid, you play cards against a bunch of OP bosses for fun and profit. The first wing is free, but the Plague Quarter and subsequent wings are going to cost you gold. That could all pay off though if you get those new cards, put them in your deck, take them to rank ladder, and compete in the Hearthstone World Championship, which is going to happen at BlizzCon. That's a $250,000 prize pool. Not bad for some digital cards. Also big news this week, China has lifted its ban on home gaming consoles. The Xbox One is going to be the first console sold in China since the PlayStation 2. Every Xbox One console sold comes with Power Star Golf, Neverwinter Online Games, Xbox Live Gold through till next March and a brand new Chinese interface. Personally, I'm just excited to see that part of the map lit up while I'm matchmaking in Halo. Welcome to the game, guys. The Fraggles had a lot of fun at San Diego Comic Con. We learned where to get our legs shaved for free and how to avoid stowaways. All those lessons and more contained in our video right here. How to survive San Diego Comic Con. If you've got survival down pat and you're looking for love, we've got you covered too. Check out our nerdy pickup lines and see just how many cosplayers we managed to offend. Some lines work better than others. This week's Gamer Spotlight goes to the negatives. They're a team of 10 to 16 year old young women who are working on a game that they started at the Girls Make Games Summer Camp. Let's check it out. The whole story is a game about a girl named Wendy who gets sent back into the past and in the past in order to return to her time she has to go on a quest and she's helped by her shovel along the way. So this game is a top-down adventure puzzle RPG. And our main game mechanics are digging and solving riddles. If you're feeling inspired by these girls and you want to know more about what they're doing, you can click on their Kickstarter link below in our description. And if you guys were going to make a game, what would it be about? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Fragdoll Friday. I hope you enjoy all of our content from San Diego Comic Con, whether it be the dancing cosplayers or those flirty pickup lines. Feel free to use any you like. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey everybody, this week the Fragdolls have a very special Fragdoll Friday coming at you from San Diego Comic Con 2014. 